Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone My name is Nisda Ayunizar You can call me Nisda And I'm student of English Education Department In Winset Ali Ramadullah Tulungagu And in this occasion I will convey a story about the greedy milkman Once upon a time In a small village Life Henry and his wife Gloria Henry was a milkman. The husband and the wife have over a closet. The couple used to take care of all of native cows. They feed them good hay and nurse them well. Because all of Henry's cows would purchase excellent quality of milk, everybody in the village would only buy milk from Henry. Henry and Gloria earn well and have a good life. But despite of that, Henry was not happy. He always dreamed of buying a big house and expensive clothes. I saw a big house on the outskirts of our village. We should buy in that. We can get a very expensive car and many servants to serve us. We will wear the most expensive clothes and all these poor villagers will be jealous of us. But I don't think so, Henry. We earn enough and we should be happy with what we have. Gloria, how can you be happy in this small house? In this cold shit? Oh, the smell of this cause is just too much. But this is our life, hot Henry. Not for long. Remember my words. Someday I will be the rich man in this whole village. Each day, as Henry went to sell milk, the villagers would praise him. Henry, this milk is so good and healthy. You must be taking such good care of your cows. Oh, yes, yes, I do, but not for long. Once I become rich, I will sell on those cows. I don't like that smell in my house. But... These cows are your life hot. You should not complain about your work. The work help you survive. I sell eggs for a living. That is smelly job, but I don't mind. That's my work. Well, well, well. Then maybe you will mean to sell eggs, but I mean to do bigger things, to buy expensive items and expensive clothes. This grid will take you nowhere, my friend. The sooner you understand that, that the better. I have waste enough time. All the best with your little familiar business. Goodbye. Henry was in hurry to earn more money. He would often try to find a way to become rich. That's... This is a very less. How do I sell more milk? There has to be some way. Hmm. My cows are all healthy. I can push them to give us more milk. Also, this is a small village. Even if I get more milk, who will I sell it to it? I can go to the neighboring village. There are many family there, but then I will have to buy another cow. And right now, I don't have enough money for that. Hmm. I also buy a bigger house. Let's see. I don't have enough money too. Hmm. But then I have to increase the quantity of meal. How do I do that? As he walked ahead, he came across a river. Finally, offer helmet with great Henry had an idea. How about I mix a little water in the milk? That way, I won't have to buy another cow. And sometimes, I will be able to sell me to the neighbor village. Oh, this is a brilliant idea. Nobody would notice if I had just a little water on it. And that's what Henry did the next morning. Henry began to fill his containers with, mi with, with milk. But this time he only filled them and left him to stop at the river and add a little water. The day just like always the villagers happily. 
and paid him the same amount due to the add water. There was more milk left with Harry which he sought in the neighbor. Harry was very happy. This is great. If I carry on like this, I will become a very rich son. He was right tight, space and Harry was now Richard's man. Then he bought a car for himself and ran off his house. He was so used to add water to the milk that he didn't think of buying another cup. Even once, as the demand for me increased, so did the water in it this went on four weeks. But then the villagers began to the to notice. The milk is so different. A villager scattered outside Henry's house. What's the matter? Henry, Henry, what's the matter? Henry, we have some complaints about the milk. You sell it tastes like water. What? How dare you say that? We pay for milk, Henry, not water. You cannot follow us anymore. Nothing has changed. You all cannot appreciate the goodness. I work really hard. Go buy from somewhere. If you don't like it, I don't need you. If I, if I have uh, some money, I don't need you. I have many other village who love the milk I sell. Harry darted inside the house and slammed the door. The villagers were shocked at Henry's rude behavior. The next morning, Harry as usual walked towards the river. He opened his half-filled containers and filled water on it. But little did he know that he was being watched. How dare! This is not fair! This is how! He is getting richer. He has the same number of cows, and he is selling water. The villagers understood the whole thing and decided to teach the greedy milkman a lesson. The next day, Gloria went to the market to buy pulses, and the night as Henry came back from work, they both sat down for dinner. What? This is stone. Stones? No, this is our pulses. No, this is stones. They are not. I don't believe this is the vendor. You some all stones along with the pulses. How dare! I will go see him tomorrow. That night, Henry and Gloria went to bed and empty stomach. Henry angrily went to the vendor. The next morning, after a while, he went out to buy a dozen eggs. When he came back home and tried to break them, he realized that 10 of the 12 eggs were rocks. He was furious. The same way, you sell rocks. No, the same way that we paid for milk and not water. Go buy from somewhere. If you don't like it, I don't need you, Henry. Henry was so busy thinking about himself and his great that he didn't realize he had done the same thing. Over time, even the neighboring villagers began to complain slowly. Everybody stopped buying milk from Henry. Left to spend, Henry began to sell off it items which he had bought of selling low quality milk. Now, Henry was a poor milkman. He had only a handful of cows and only a few houses which he could sell milk. Now you realize what you have done, you, uh, you greet, is the reason we are poor head you continue to selling good milk the way you stood we could have built a bigger house and expensive clothes someday all you had to do is keep patient and continue working hard. Yeah, I agree, Gloria. I should have listened to you. I didn't just lose my money. I also lost respect and trust of the people. Henry continued to sell me 
and tend to his cause. He knew not how dangerous greed can be he had learned his lesson from that. And the next day he never add water to the mill and stay happy with what he earned. Okay, that's all our story for today guys. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye.